game more clearly with extra view lenses from Norval Opticians with £50 off our exclusive free form frames. Jacob, how much does winning on Friday night with a bonus point down at Bristol help going into this week? It does, yeah. You know, we had a tough, a pretty tough two weeks. We had a bit of time away from the club and then we came back in the second week and put a decent shift in. So to get that progression at Bristol and obviously to get five points is, is great for us. And after what had happened in the intervening time, how good actually was it just to get back to the everyday training and, and just sort of right back to business? That's what it was. It was just a case of getting back on the field, get a game in us and, you, you know, we can let out some frustration, let, let out whatever you, you want really and just get, get back out there on the field and, and put performance in. And how much have things changed in terms of the way that Gloucester do things behind the scenes? Um, not too much. I don't, I don't think it needed to. There was just a few things that obviously... You know, the change of management. There's going to be a few changes. That's just the, the nature of, um, of sport, really, of any business. So um, there's been a few tweaks, but we're just about going out there on the pitch and, and doing a job. Yeah, I suppose it's too late in the season to make you know a complete overhaul, isn't it? It's just going to be tweaking around the edges. It is, yeah. Um, it'd be silly to try and reinvent the wheel now. It's it's just a matter of fine-tuning a few things and, and, like I said before, doing our research and putting a performance in. A home quarter-final. In theory, that should be a game to really get up for, but after what happened, I suppose, last year, th there's even more incentive, isn't there, to sort of you know, go out and, and perform at home in, in front of the shed? Absolutely. We've, we've got a job to do, you know, get the fans back with us, you know, give them, give them something to cheer about, especially early on, and really put in a good performance. They've, you know, they've got a great outfit, some, some class players, so we're going to be really up against it. What's going to be the key to beating Cardiff? I think it's just a bit of mindset, really. We went into Bristol with a really good mindset away there. We did the job, and I know the first half was pr pretty scrappy, but we kept in there defending the whole time. And you know, we got we got the point in the second half. So if we come there with a similar mindset, we should be okay. Penalty count was fairly high during the first half. Is that something that you've looked at this week and thought, well, there's an area to improve on? Definitely, discipline was poor in the first half. We um, we just conceded too many penalties and can't afford to do that. You know. Against, you know, some would say better opposition, but you know, Bristol put us on, under a lot of pressure. So, you know, we've we've got to manage that. We've got to work with the referee and you know be a bit more clinical, really. But I suppose the durability of being able to hang in there and then sort of, you know, make it count when you've got possession was shown through as well, wasn't it? That's the thing. Is as long as we keep turning up defensively, you know, putting them under pressure, getting our line speed, you know, it's a big part of our game and our defence. So, some of our strong points, if we can get there and do that and I'm sure we'll get the points. Ross Moriarty back in training this week, does that just add an extra edge to the back row area? Yeah, it's great to have him back, you know, he's been on great form for Wales, so it's good to get him back in a Gloucester shirt. Oh.